Honey, allow me to be your sign that you have been asking for and been needing to let go of that situation that has been doing nothing but causing you stress and anxiety, honey. It is not worth it for it to be living in your mind rent free and you're not being paid for it, honey. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Sagittarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading today. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below Sagittarius which cards do and how they do because that is how I keep up with you guys is through the comments Sagi um, as well. Uh, if you enjoy this video or you just enjoy my vibe, Sagittarius, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot channel a lot. And always, I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take the extra step to support my tarot channel in that way. Um, and then as well, Sagi, I did your bonus reading just recently. If you want to check that out, I believe I'll leave a link over here, I believe it is. But I think it's over here, honey. Um, watch me be wrong. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, if you want to check that out. But uh, when it comes to receiving any of my readings, Sagittarius, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Sagittarius. I believe these cards here are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the decision in your life because it is your life to live and not mine and not these tarot cards. So all that being said finally Sagittarius let's get into your reading this week we have I pulled some cards for you by the way which obviously you guys saw um just so I could get an idea of y'all like what it is y'all are going through right now and so I pulled the ace of air for you or the ace of swords I have the page of fire or the page of wands for you and we have, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> we have the Two of Air or the Two of Swords for you, uh, Saji. And then we have the Moon card. The Moon. <laughs> I said that so country uh, for a moment. <laughs> um, the Moon card, Archangel Haniel, number 18, equaling to 9 for numerology. Sagittarius. Also, if you're open to working with archangels, depending on your belief system, but it's none of my business what you do or practice. Uh, if you're open to Archangel Haniel, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing their name properly, uh, is open to working with you. There's a calling there, right? There's definitely something you can do. So give me a moment, Sagittarius, as I figure out how these cards want to be placed. Very interesting. I can't quite immediately gauge like where you guys are at in the sense of um actually i take that back all right we have these cards now so we're going to start out with your two of air sagittarius or your two of swords this card says being unable or unwilling to make a decision a stalemate and pretending there isn't a problem with the situation though i would suspect for most of you sagittarius is you acknowledge that there's a problem um with something but you just don't know how to really go about doing it i feel or more so like you don't want to like let something go is something that i'm feeling and getting as well sagittarius uh, when it comes to the Two of Swords, it's kind of like being at a crossroads, crossroads with something, uh, Sagittarius. So I don't know, uh, you have to, it's kind of needing to make a hard choice. You have to make a hard choice with something. And it's kind of familiar to one of the other readings. I can't remember. This is probably a little bit ago, Sagittarius. I don't know if this is like reoccurring for you, uh, some of you guys, because maybe this isn't, this is a choice you haven't made since last time I identified this. Sagittarius, but there's like some type of hard choice that you know yourself that you need to make um, being at this crossroads because, but it's hard for you to make just because it's like what it means when you take this one path and like you have to like, that means your path no longer is going to be uh, with, you know, certain individuals or certain being in certain environments, right? You have to, you're going into something completely new, right? So it's a little bit harder to make that decision because it's not just like, it's not so black and white just looking at the results of things because you have to think about the, uh, the casualties, if we'll call it that, right? But here's the thing. I put quotations on casualties because it's like, unless you, the actions that you're taking, Sagittarius, are like directly impacting people, um, it's, if it's more so just a case of where it's like you no longer are going to be going to the same workplace, right? Maybe you got a job offer uh, working in 
working in a different state, right? Or a different city. And um, you, but for you to leave that, for you to take up that job offer, you would have to leave your old coworkers behind. You would have to leave your friends behind. You know, it's not personal at that point. You kind of have to, at some point, Sagittarius, make the decision for yourself because that's how you're going to grow in life, right? And you kind of like, it's only seen as like, I don't know. I feel like there's like this sense, Sagittarius, you have to kind of remind yourself that things are not so personal. You doing things just that, that's in your best interest, even if it's going to make other people's lives harder. I know this is so reminiscent of an old reading for you, Sagittarius. Um, just because, you know, like maybe you always were present and there for other people, Sagittarius. And now like you have to kind of keep some of that energy for yourself. Just because you're no longer as readily available as Sagittarius, that doesn't mean, and like those people are suffering because they no longer have direct access to you, that doesn't mean anything, right? That doesn't mean you're a bad person because of it. Uh, your card fell, Sagittarius. Uh, what card is this? Ugh, almost got it. There we go. The star card, yeah. I'm pulling, uh, I'm shuffling some extra cards for you, Sagi, just so I could get. Uh, a little bit more detail on this two of swords or this two of air for you and so <laughs> eight of cups now sadly right this is the moon card following you too in this reading because this is going to be your next card as well you're really being pushed into going down this path that's unknown to you unfamiliar right you're leaving these cups behind right that's the eight of cups uh, nothing, again, nothing wrong with these cups, right? These cups are perfectly filled, honey. I'm sure someone else, if they were to come by and take a swig of that, that would be insanely fulfilling for them. That would be insanely satisfying for them. But it's not for you, Sagittarius, and that's the problem for you in your life. And so because it's not for you, that, uh, that means you have to go out and find something that is more fulfilling for you, right? You have to sometimes be willing to walk away from certain things with, you know, and be at peace with acknowledging that nothing could be wrong with either side of things. No one has to be at fault. Nothing has to be at fault. It's just more so like two things just not clicking, right? You don't, when you try to put two to puzzle pieces together, right, in a thousand word, or a thousand word, a thousand piece puzzle, if you try to put two pieces together and they don't fit, do you just throw away the whole puzzle and say, well, it's not going to work? It's like, you know, it's like, oh, this puzzle's awful. Like, or do you blame yourself being like, oh, I don't know how to put a puzzle together. I don't know how to put two pieces together. It's like, no, right? It's kind of like a, when you solve a puzzle, it's trial and error. And I feel like you kind of need to remind yourself of that Sagittarius is where it's just like some pieces you're not gonna like you're gonna pick them up you're gonna try to put them together it ain't gonna fit and that's okay we have the star card because you make these choices you have to just yeah make those choices that get you closer to your star the star card is like the your wish coming true the things that you've always desired for yourself um for you to for yourself to accomplish for yourself to have Sagittarius you have to just start taking steps towards that because it feels like I can't help but feel like a lot of the actions that you've been taking and feeding energy into for a while uh Sagittarius I can't help but feel like it's nothing none of it is I don't want to say none of it but like a lot of it you could have been quicker I guess you could have progressed a lot qu quicker down your path and get quicker to your star um in other ways but because you were trying to make other things work you're trying to bring other situations and things people along with you on your path right that was draining of itself so you couldn't fully <clears throat> excuse me you couldn't fully invest your energies into uh making some ground and some leeway on towards your star and then we have the magician card right the magician is the solo energy uh sagittarius the magician the magician doesn't need any help right while the magician can receive help but the main focus the main like the magician is the, like the main character honey the magician is the individual who is driving their own car right they can allow passengers but those passengers in their car but those passengers come and go right the magician is all about just manifesting and creating the reality that they want to see in life right and i feel like this is the energy that you need to start exuding a little bit more of saji so very interesting that was a very long first card don't you think saji 
<laughs> we have the moon card for you now again right this is what i was hinting at from before with this moon uh this moon card says we already talked about archangel haniel did i already tell you to write down the number nine by the way uh sagittarius for numerology to look up later i feel like i did but this card says important psychic insights events behind the scenes releasing fears that hold you back right and i feel like this is kind of more so the message for here right you need to release what it is that's holding you back from going out here right this like was having you clinging on to these eight cups right is it just like do you is there is this a situation of like extreme codependency uh sagittarius right is this a situation or where you don't feel like you'd make it is it just because um you know what is it insert whatever that ask yourself that question of what's keeping you um from taking action really so let's see i want to pull some cards on this as well do, do, do. Okay, so you're afraid of closing out some cycles. You've become really attached to certain cycles in your life, Sagittarius. I pulled the world card, the death card, with the six of cups. I don't even know I pulled this extra one. This even confirms it even more. Uh, with the seven of wands. I only saw these three cards. I didn't see the six of cups. So this hones in on what I was saying exactly even harder though. So it makes perfect sense why we have it. Um, with the death card and the world card, this is like you're afraid of closing out a cycle, right? This is something where it's like you can't imagine, like you haven't, You've had something part of your life for such a long time and you can't imagine not uh, being without it, right? You can't imagine uh, continuing like a cycle, like continuing this cycle, like continuing your life really um, without this aspect, without this person, without the situation, like without something being part of your story. It's almost like you thought some attribute of your story, some side, uh, if we we're going to consider you, Sagittarius, the main character of your life, which you are, um, some side character, some something, something that is meant to be just like a side quest or something, you know, I don't know, like, this is going to be very silly, but like, if for anyone that's played like the final, final fantasy fr franchises, especially early on, you would like get partnerships and have people join your team to fight with you. And then they would just leave, they would end up leaving because of some, you know, as the storyline progressed, you know, some character ended up dying, honey, or like ended up leaving, doing their own thing, right? You know, that was a big thing. For, that is a big thing for Final Fantasy franchises where it's just like groups coming together to work together to do something. And then each one like branching off and doing their own thing after the fact after they accomplished their thing so while they were in their party fighting whatever for however long right at some point they're going their paths are not they're they're going to split off right and they're all going to be doing their own main character thing for their lives nothing wrong with them nothing wrong with you Sagittarius is just a situation of like not everyone's story is written is wrote written written wrote they're not written the same way. I don't feel. I, I don't know why that sounds like not the right word to say, but you get the point. Hopefully, Sagittarius. But um, yeah, this is definitely something that you've had for in, in your life quite some time, because of the Six of Cups here. This could be like a childhood friendship. That's thought something that you've had in your since your childhood. This could be something that you considered like your safety net. Like you only felt feel extremely confident when this is like when this thing, this person, whatever is around you and when uh when you're without it you feel just alone and like whatever yeah it's almost just like this fear almost sagittarius of just going out on your own right of like leaving the nest that you created to make your own to make an, an a different nest almost hmm. so then we get into the ace of air though right this is where you're starting to progress because i do eventually like you are going to leave this nest eventually that's without question sagittarius i don't even you know you do end up making this choice whether you hold on to this nest for a little bit longer and i have to do another reading and this comes up honey or uh you do it today ace of air comes in or the ace of swords brilliant new ideas and inspiration seeing the truth of a situation and challenging uh challenging beginning so yeah you seeing the truth in the situation that moon is like as you lean into the situation more as like 
you know, like whatever it is that you wanted to be, Sagittarius, whatever that new path is for you. Um, you know, I use the example for Leos in their own like situation for their cards, not similar in this way, I don't think. Um, but I use the example of being an author. And in your situation, you know, maybe like you being an author, a lone author, rather than writing stuff with a group, right? Um, you start realizing that you actually can handle this situation. You actually can handle this path, this new path that we are talking about, right? So you don't regret it at all. And, you know, you might even ask the question, I mean, outside of like a challenging beginning, like the wording in this all talks about new energy as well, Sagittarius, but um, page of fire as well comes in. This is page of fire or the page of wands is my card of a fresh start. This card says uh, news of an exciting new endeavor, use your originality and ingenuity. So yeah, both of these cards is where it's just like the ideas are ramping up in your head. Like you're realizing once you take the for those first scary steps, you realize like how not bad it actually is. And then you start taking a couple more. And you start taking more and more and more and it's a progressive thing for you uh Sagittarius and you it's one of those things I kind of have to tell you where it's like you're not going to feel comfortable entirely in this situation until like you start immersing yourself uh in the situation right you're not going to know your capabilities and if you could handle something and how you're going to handle something or any of that or what it, your future is really going to look like until you start taking those steps to uh into this path right and once you are in there you start feeling really happy and you know that you're there it's very much so like um you know like those in scenes in movies and maybe some of you like some of you guys can just relate personally on some personal level where it's just like when someone's like first day of school initially they're super scared they build up to it they're crying they're sad they don't want to go they don't want to leave the house and then you drop them off and you leave and you watch them from afar and you realize like how quickly they snap into uh, feeling comfortable in this new area, feel and realizing that they actually can like be in this area, they can play and like what have you. It's like the same realization that I get for you, Sagittarius, where it's just like, you don't, it sounds super scary. You don't, you're worried that you're not going to make any friends and new friends or like you're able to even sustain yourself or whatever your storyline is, whatever it is that you tell yourself to justify why it is you haven't done uh, taking this path, uh, take, made the decision quite yet, Sagittarius. Um, you quickly realize that no, you actually can make some friends, Sagittarius. No, things actually can work out really nicely for you. You actually can even handle this, uh, Sagittarius, right? See if there's any more cards that need to be pulled. I actually don't feel like I need to pull any more cards from there, Sagittarius, to be honest. So let's just pull some, a couple of Moon Oracle cards before I close out this reading for you. Uh, the beautiful reading, Sagittarius. Actually, y'all's probably is my favorite reading, just from like the messages that came through. Mm. But uh, I pull two moon cards for you. We have the full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches a resolution. So yeah, all your cards keep on speaking in such a way, Sagittarius, of where it's like you overcome this, like you go through this. You know, this is not a situation of like telling you how to get out of something. It's like no, you're getting out of this, and this is where, you know, yeah, conclusions within reach. Full moon in Eclipse. Conclusions within reach. A personal issue reaches resolution. Honey, two moon cards telling you like the issues that you're dealing with are they're so close to being uh fixed can we just take a moment and appreciate that <laughs> those moon cards coming in that way i never had that happen i love that uh yeah sagittarius that is the reading that i have for you good luck so much with how this path continues for you let me know what decision you end up making and what it is that you end up doing Sagi. i do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs as well so if you have a friend that's into tarot be sure to send them my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and comment below which cards resonated with you if any did sagittarius as well and i'll connect with you sometime in the near future hopefully until then i love you so much Bye.